Hi everybody, welcome back to our Bringing the Zoo to You series. I'm Maggie and I'm an animal care specialist here at the zoo and today we have one of our um, animal ambassadors. I know many of you are very familiar with him. We have Clover, oh, sorry bud, our prehensile tailed porcupine. And today we have asked all of you to vote for some food to feed him, some of, um, some of his favorites and some food that he has never had before. So we are feeding him some biscuits just to start off, but I'm gonna start off with something that you all voted um, to feed him. We have some sugar cane. I don't think that Quilbert has ever had this before, and let's see if he likes it. I think it might be sweet, so I think he might try chomping right down on that. So you guys are having some close-ups of his teeth. Now Quilbert, being a porcupine, is a type of rodent. So he has really sharp, strong teeth. And those are meant for chewing through bark and um, through other really hard things. So they are extremely strong. And I think he likes the sugar cane. So we, nice job voting for that. I think it's a really great choice. He is really enjoying that nice big piece. Oh, <laughs> taking a pause. So sugar cane isn't something that's part of his normal diet, but we like to offer animals all sorts of enriching um, different items so they can explore different things and get new items in their diet. Now Quilbert's normal diet at the zoo is going to consist of different biscuits that offer him kind of a complete diet and other fruits and vegetables and lettuce and that will be his complete diet throughout the day and then every once in a while he'll get new exciting items maybe like a piece of sugar cane so perhaps we can add that <laughs> to his enrichment list. All right, well, I think he has showed us that he is done with that piece. So next, we're going to move to sweet potato. All right, now this is an old tried and true favorite for Quilbert. He gets sweet potato very often in his diet. So you guys asked us to give that to him, and definitely Quilbert loves the sweet potato. You can hear his, he's a very loud eater. <laughs> we posted an ASMR video of him, and he has a very very loud when he chews on things. So sweet potato is a favorite. He also loves butternut squash. Anything in that family he is a very big fan of. So he's gonna mow right on through that. All right, great job, Quilbert. So I think next on our list, we are going to go with corn on the cob. Another highly voted for item. And there we go, Quilbert loves it. This is also another one of his favorites. He also gets this in his diet a lot. We don't give him too many starches, but corn on the cob is a favorite amongst a lot of our animals. And Quilbert is a huge fan of corn on the cob. He doesn't always eat the cob, but he picks all the little corn kernels off of the cob. So as I mentioned, um, vegetables are of course a really big part of his diet here at the zoo. Um, in the wild, porcupines eat a lot of leaves. They're gonna eat the cambium layer underneath um, bark um, out in the wild and branches. So their diet differs a little bit in the wild, but we try to mimic it here in the zoo, um, best providing them all the nutrients that they need. Well, he ate that really fast and he sure did enjoy that. All right, the next one is something a little bit sweeter and it's gonna be juicy. We've got kiwi. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think that this is gonna be one of Quilbert's favorite encounters. He sure is loving that. <laughs> he likes fruit, um, he's a big fan of grapes. Grapes are also one of his favorite um, food items to receive. So I think we'll have to add kiwi to the list. Looks like he's going to consume all of that pretty fast. <laughs> Now our next item that you all voted to test out on him is something that he might be, well, we'll let him finish that really quick. So one of our items on the list is something that he's never received here at the zoo, but something that porcupines might eat out in the wild, and that's gonna be flowers. Now it might not be an orchid in the wild because porcupines like um, Quilbert, a prehensile tailed porcupine, are found in um, South America He's going to get this species of um, orchid. Oh, let's see if he might actually reject something. Oh no. Well, in the wild, they would eat maybe some different kinds of buds and flowers, um, but it doesn't look like Quilbert's too interested in that orchid, but that's okay. He always has the choice 
to eat it or not to eat it. So these are edible types of flowers. We can actually eat this type of orchid too. They're pretty tasty. All right, we're gonna go in for the top voted item that we asked you guys to vote for. And this is something that I know a lot of kids love to snack on, and this is ants on a log. We've put cranberries on this because cranberries are something that we use a lot for to feed out to our animals. And I think this one's a really good choice. Quilbert really loves it. So maybe some of you at home right now are snacking on this right now, but Quilbert, I think, is a big fan. We give him peanuts for training, so I think he's a little bit familiar with peanut butter. And I think he's really enjoying celery. He's not usually a big fan of celery, but of course, smeared with peanut butter and cranberries, I think anybody becomes a fan of celery. So nice choice, everybody voting for ants on a log. We'll just kind of watch Colbert here enjoy this. <laughs> so as we mentioned, um, prehensile-tailed porcupines live in South America. They live in the treetops, so of course they're not going to be finding things like ants on a log up in there, um, up in the treetops. But some things that they're going to eat up in the trees are leaves. They're going to eat. Um, they're going to chew on bark and um, perhaps find some nuts. So that's going to be their complete diet out in the wild. He's an excellent climber. Right now you can get a really good close-up of his long claws. Those will help him move around in the trees. And of course he has his long prehensile tail that he can use to grab onto branches. Looks like he's made quite a mess with all of that peanut butter, as I'm sure we all do when we eat this same snack, but he can lick all of that off. Peanut butter is often a snack that we give to a lot of animals. <laughs> It's really enriching. We can smear it all over different types of enrichment. We can put it on branches so they can go foraging for it. So it's a really useful food enrichment tool. All right, well, we've got some other um, items here that we can feed out to him that maybe didn't get a lot of votes, but I think Quilbert might still enjoy. You made quite a mess today, bud. We'll try a green bean. This one's a little bit healthier, but he sure does love his vegetables. Maybe that'll take some of that peanut butter off his hands. So how old is Quilbert and oh. how long do uh, prehensile tailed porcupines live? Quilbert is going to be two years old this June. And under professional care, um, porcupines can live into their 20s. In the wild, probably maybe around 12 years old into their teens. So he's got great health care here at the zoo. And um, of course, you can see all the food that he needs. He's got great care um, with all of his animal care professionals. So he's gonna live a nice long life. Can he shoot his quills? Can he shoot his quills? That is a great question. Um, porcupines do not shoot their quills. That is a common misconception. Um, but if he is startled or scared, he will make all of his quills stand up. Um, and that makes him look bigger. But of course his quills do come out of his body. Um, they have a hook on the end of them and that will help, oh, we're trying some asparagus, not a fan. Um, but if a predator gets really close and tries to attack him, they would, uh, the quills would embed themselves inside of the predator and fall out of his body. So his quills are made out of the same thing as your hair. They're just modified hair, so they're really, really sharp. So just like our hair falls out of our head, his quills fall out of his body. So they don't shoot, um, but they can fall out really easily if they get stuck into a predator and they'll fall out. All right, well, peanuts were another item that we voted on. And uh, again, this is another item that he loves, a big favorite. So he liked that peanut butter and he sure does love peanuts. Can he eat chocolate? Can he eat chocolate? Chocolate is not... A, um, a food item that we give to any of our animals? That's a good question. It's definitely not safe for, for dogs or anything like that as a reminder, so um, we do not give it to our porcupines. Why is his nose so big? Why is his nose so big? He has a really great sense of smell. So porcupines are nocturnal. Um, Colbert would be awake at night, so he needs to rely on a sense of smell to help him investigate his environment. It kind of feels like a marshmallow. How much does he weigh? He weighs around nine pounds. And who's his favorite zookeeper? Oh, that's a tough question. 
Uh, well, many of us hand raised him, so we've been working with him since he was one day old. I don't know if he has a favorite, but he sure is a favorite of all of ours. Can he swim? Um, I don't think he'd be a very good swimmer, no. He doesn't spend much time near the water besides um, getting something to drink. You guys are sending in lots of great questions. Uh, what kind of peanut butter do we use? Is it, um, do we worry about the sweetener in it? I think we have sugar-free um, organic peanut butter. Um, I think we today we had creamy peanut butter. So I don't think the animals quite are as picky as a lot of us are. <laughs> and what does he do for exercise? Quilbert is a very active porcupine. Um, he gets a lot of exercise inside his home. We provide him with um, foraging opportunities. We hide his food in all sorts of different places. So he never just has to sit in one place to find his food. So that's a way he gets exercise. We also have running wheels for some of our animals, and he has actually tried out the running wheel and he runs in it. So that's some, sometimes that's a way that he gets exercise. You wanna try the artichoke? This is one of the last food items that we have for him to try out. Not a fan. I think we all like it a little bit better in butter and breadcrumbs, but not for Quilbert. <laughs> is it true that his quills are hardened hair? Uh, they're made out of the same thing as our hair. Um, so they're just modified. Are they good animals to pet? Are they good animals to pet? Well, they are not really great at being pets since they are so sharp. Um, if you were to pet them in the wrong direction, it would definitely hurt. But we've been working with Quilbert for so long and he's so familiar with us that um, the animal care specialist here in our department can pick him up and handle him. It's taken a lot of work and he ha we have such a close bond with him that he is really comfortable with us touching him. It helps with our daily care. Um, we can look really closely at him if there was a health concern. Um, it, it, that bond and uh, relationship is really important for that. But it's definitely not smart to touch a porcupine that you don't know. <laughs> How long does he sleep? He um, sleeps throughout the day. Um, he probably sleeps around eight hours a day. How big are his ears? They're pretty small, maybe about the size of my thumb. You can get a close-up look right now. What's most unique about his ears is that he has tiny little um, quills inside of them. That helps protect his ears from predators because it's a very vulnerable spot. So it wants to make, you want to make sure, as a porcupine, that those areas are protected. What color are his teeth? That's a great question. His teeth are bright orange. And that orange coloration comes from iron. And that helps create strength in his teeth since he's chewing on a lot of hard things, like um, bark on trees. Um, if you notice, the, a lot of like rats and beavers, they have bright orange teeth. Um, so they have that same coloration due to iron. Where can we see Quilbert? So Quilbert makes many appearances. Um, he's a lot of times on our Facebook videos. He can be seen um, during chats throughout the summer when we're open. He is not on an exhibit space or in a habitat where you can see him um, normally throughout the zoo because he's one of our animal ambassadors. What are his parents' names? His parents' names are Eddie and Lucia, and they also live at the zoo. Has anyone ever counted his quills? Oh no, that would be pretty impossible. He has so many quills. That would be like trying to count all of the hairs on our head. What color is his tongue? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> What are they related to? He is a rodent, so he's related to beavers and rats and squirrels. There's other species of porcupines. We have a Cape porcupine here at the zoo and the North American porcupine, which many of you be, may be more familiar with, that lives right here up in the Midwest. Are they born with their quills? 
Are they born with their quills? That's a great question. He is born with kind of long guard hairs and he's born with a bright red coloration. Um, and then his thicker quills start to grow in within the coming weeks after he's born. So where do the animal ambassadors live? They live over um, in a building behind Wild Encounters. Many of our animal ambassadors, like our reindeer, our llamas, our goats, they're all can, they all can be seen um, during regular visiting hours. But many of our animals, like our porcupines and our servals, um, they are housed off exhibit and then they can be seen during public chats or during our Facebook Lives. Does he have fur under his quills? Um, he has little guard hairs underneath there, but he, many of his quills just go, um, it's just skin right underneath there. How does he get clean? Does he take baths? He doesn't really take baths, no. Um, he might shake his quills in order to get something that's caught underneath his quills or to shake any of that dust off. So do they live in nests in trees? Sometimes they'll um, inhabit empty burrows or uh, maybe a hole inside of a tree, but oftentimes they'll just sit inside of a V, um, uh, like a nook inside of a tree. All right, well, thank you guys so much for visiting with us today and sharing some time with Quilbert and feeding him some of his favorite snacks. I think we found some brand new treats to feed him, so thank you so much for voting. And make sure to join us Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. for bringing our zoo to you chats. Stay safe.